Welcome to Unique Motor Garage. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm gonna be talking to you about this 1989 420 SEL. It is in absolutely immaculate condition. As you would expect, it's only done 44,000 kilometers from you. It was owned by a doctor in Brisbane who owned it all the way through until a few years ago when it went into a private collection with a number of other W126s. The interior, exterior, wood grain, leather is absolutely spotless. It would suit a very fussy buyer. It's more than likely going to go to a collector as it's getting so hard to find any W126 with under 100,000 kilometres, let alone a V8. We do sell a number of 126s here at the moment. We've got four in stock, including two 420s and two 300s. They're all excellent examples. However, this is just a particularly good car. It's even got the original stick on the back window from Mercedes-Benz of Brisbane. Um, and look, really it's a car that needs to be seen to be appreciated. Obviously I'm more than happy to do a video like this one. But just everything right down to the leather, door trims, It's absolutely immaculate. This car I could just look at for hours. The engine bay is spotless. The dash is free from cracks and things. And look, as I said, it is a Queensland car, but it hasn't been parked out in the sun either. It's been garaged, which is certainly very nice to see. Looking at the engine bay, you know, it's also in immaculate condition. All the original stickers and things are here. It's got the original uh, books and manuals and things. Unfortunately, it is missing its logbook. Uh, it was a deceased estate some years ago, and the logbook was the one part of the history which couldn't be found. But any inspection, welcome. Happy for a mechanic to have a look at it. You only have to look at the car for literally just a few moments to know that the kilometres are absolutely genuine. But we have also priced this car accordingly. If you do look at um, quite a few low kilometre cars, or if you can find them for that matter, um, for some reason I've found an issue with logbooks and lower kilometre cars. And no, it's not because you know, the uh, odometer's been tampered with or anything like that. It's because they use these a bit of a backstory. It's, you know, it's been left to the family deceased estate, whatever it is, and there's often something happening there. I've even had a couple. I had another one with 48,000 kilometres, a 420, and that did have the logbook, but unfortunately only had two or three stamps in it. And it was a similar story. The, um, the one owner who had it up until, gosh, might have been six years ago now, four years ago, had the books in his office wrapped up and the logbook just went missing. Already surgery, I can't remember where, wherever it was. But uh, if you are looking for a particularly good W126 420 and you've been looking for a long time, this car is absolutely worth having a look at. As I said, I'm happy for any mechanical inspection. I'm happy to, for you to send someone here on your behalf to have a look at this beautiful vehicle. It has been checked over by a mechanic and uh, maintained on a regular basis even while in this collection and we're happy to provide some receipts. Just have a quick look in the boot here. Again, all very original. It's got the original MXV tire. Doesn't look like the tools have even been out of the bag. But it's just in every way a very impressive car. As I said, I can you know, get close and get as many photos as you may like, but it really needs to be seen in person. We are Unique Motor Garage. My name is Philip Tarrant. We specialise in Mercedes-Benz. 
And as I said, if you are looking for a W126, it's definitely worth coming in and having a look as we do have a number of them currently in stock. Thanks for taking the time and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Following my earlier video on the 420 SEL, I did just want to do a, a quick start up. So as you can see, the interior is absolutely immaculate. Same goes for the instrument cluster and the wood grain. Okay, so we'll just start it up. Nice and smooth. We'll just go around to the engine bay. You can't hear very much, it's very smooth, nice and quiet. In fact, it's running absolutely beautifully. 